In this video, we're gonna answer what can I say to my wife to stop a divorce. Stay tuned. Yay, what's going on guys? We're back here. So, so tell me, what can I say to my wife to stop a divorce? Oh, can you stay to your wife's Yeah, I need a magic wand thing to say. Stop. So, <laughs> no, <laughs> no, what? I tell her stop. <laughs> no, don't even try to say anything. Okay. That's what I wanted to I'm talking to you, the person that wants to <laughs> say Just stop. something to their wife in the moment. Stop. Stop. That, stop, that stop, thought. Stop Shibet. <laughs> yeah, stop the thought immediately. Mm -hmm. Back off. Right. Let me release this thing. Let me laugh. Go ahead, baby. So, yeah. don't do it. Don't do it. All right, so there's no magic phrase I could say to her that would just make her love. What about I love you, baby? Don't do it. Nope, she's not gonna want to hear that. Man, that's evil. That's no. Mean. She's just gotten to the point. Why? That why is she's she not so? Listening. Why is she being so mean though? She's not being mean. Wait, I'm confused. So you want divorce? And I can't just tell you I love you and it's all over and we can just go and kiss and make up and have sex. She's gotten to the point that she's even confused herself. Wait, I'm confused. You didn't tell me all of this yesterday. How did you get to this point all of a sudden? No, you didn't listen yesterday. You didn't just get to a point all of a sudden. It's been accumulating there. Okay? That's what you do all the time. What do you mean <laughs> I didn't listen? You need to speak. I don't read minds. And that's exactly why I want a divorce. <laughs> Because I don't read minds, so I need to learn how to read minds. No, not that you need to learn how to read minds. You need mm -hmm. to learn how to communicate. You just started. We're well, communicating right now. No, you're the not. one that don't like to communicate. You're yelling at me, and I don't. Appreciate I'm just communicating. That. No, yeah, I don't appreciate being yelled Every, at. Even everybody in the world, even your mother knows I'm the best communicator in the world. You're full of shit. <laughs> <laughs> wow. You're silly, baby. That is. Did you just bring that out of me? <laughs> <laughs> hey, we didn't even. I mean, I didn't see that coming. <laughs> so, me being the best communicator in the world, that's not good enough for you. You will see what your eyes will see. Mm -hmm. yeah, continue to India, Abby. Mm -hmm. okay. Now you are threatening me. Continue. And now I want to stay married continue. to you. Continue. Yes, I want to stay married to you now. Please, baby, please don't fight divorce. No, I'm down. Joe. No. I need the mic. What is the magic thing I can say to you to make you stop divorce right now? Stop running your mouth. <laughs> stop running. Your mouth. That's a good place to start from. Communicator, Mister Communicator. <laughs> oh oh Lord. Gosh. So we got a question. Marriage here. is not easy. I got to tell you. It you think it's not easy? It is easy when you put in the work. It's yes. not easy when you think this is. There's a handbook yes. to just. Yes, I think. I think. Of course, it's hard as hell if you're not educated. If you're educated, it's easy. You gotta be aware. Yeah. And uh, it's just, just like what we say in the business world. It's simple. It's not necessarily easy. It's simple. You can complicate it by not educating yourself. You yep. know? If you try to use common sense, uh, you're going to be confused. Both of you are confused. You'll be looking at yourself in the face and you can't get to an agreement. Yep. And you will argue. Oh, by the way, arguments are deadly. But anyway, Argu arguments don't make you money while they argue. No, but it feels good though. It feels good. Yeah, it makes me. I thought I want to tell you that I'm right. I want to show you that I'm right. Mm -hmm. And that's why you get in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> you can be right in trouble. <laughs> My wife told me after 20 years she's done trying. This is a, a email. She's done trying. I have started a whole self realization on myself. Come on, man. If you have to say it, honey boo, <laughs> I'm sure you told her that too. And she's like, oh, let me I know. See it. You know that moment where you uh, say, I've been working on myself. myself like, but can't you see I've been working on myself? I'm, I'm a better man. Can I say it? <laughs> I'm a better man. It's, it's never... Let me tell you you're a better man. Yeah. yeah. Stop giving yourself accolades. <laughs> you can give yourself accolades, uh -huh. but not in front of that person. You know, mm -hmm. it's a difference when you're in front of a mirror telling right. yourself you're awesome. I feel good. Mm -hmm. I'm beautiful. But it's I'm... also like it's also like when you go to the gym, mm -hmm. right? There's a gentleman the other day uh, on a project we're on, and he was like, "I'm about, I'm finna, I'm finna stop going to the gym because Why? because you know my weight is not showing." I was like. 
this is not about the way it's about changing your lifestyle mm -hmm. it's the same thing Mm. So if, he goes if, to the gym, but then he comes out of the yeah, gym. Yeah, it's like it's attached to the gym. outcome. Wow! You know, attachment. You're not gonna have fun if you're attached to that. If you're attached, mm -hmm. you won't have fun. No, That's the, actually the point. Fun. Yeah, you will have expectations. Expectation, and, and you will, and this expectation will always fall short of oh your expectations. Gosh. And then fun will disappear, and then you know, and then obviously there's no attraction when there's no fun. Yep, expectation is a dream killer. This is a marriage. You're not supposed to be having fun. Uh, that's why you're going to divorce. <laughs> <laughs> but, but anyway, so I have started the whole self-realization. Chances are you're saying that to her and, you know. She don't want to hear it. And, she uh, want to see it. And that's why she's done trying. How about just change your lifestyle for you? It's not for her. If she doesn't see that, so be it. That's her loss, you know? That's her loss. You should be in a space of mind where you feel like it's really her loss. Yes. If she doesn't see that. And she may have been hurt so bad in the past that she can't see it. And you need to be okay with that. You need to accept that. You need to let her find herself too. Because she's, she, if she can't see that you've changed, she's probably so lost. Yes. You know? So, going to a therapist, praying, doing more around the house, spending more time with our kids, being more pleasant. Hmm. She says all of this is making her sick. Oh, Lord. All that beautiful things. Listen, can I, can I, you may give me permission to say this. Yes, it could be man or woman. They become evil, okay? From your perception, though. It's from your perception. They're protecting themselves. They're protecting yourself, but you're seeing it as evil. You see it as evil. Mm. Because this is a person that used to love you, that just pulled the plug. And then you're trying to do the right thing, the nice things. And the she goes The problem is say, you're trying to do it for them. Are you trying, she are you goes trying to do it for yourself? It's making her sick. Remember mm. what I said? You bribe for sex will make her feel sick to her stomach. Yeah. You know, it, it it to make her feel sick to her stomach. That's what will happen, you know. So that's what's going on here. Plus, go ahead, you want to say something? No, I said if you're doing it mm -hmm. because you want to, you're doing you it want for the her. Gee. You're doing it right there in front of her. Like, oh, right. see, I'm cleaning. I'm see, cleaning. Oh, you're going to piece that off. Yep. But you're doing it because you love doing it. Do it. But there's a difference. Because do only things, first of all, that you would normally do. Even if it's a way of you adjusting or getting better as a better man, do it because you were supposed For to yourself. do it anyway. Yeah. Consider that she was a blessing when she reminded you of it and you start to do it. You know, let's say, for example, you never shower for the kids. That's my story. And mm -hmm. all of a sudden you start showering for the kids. It's my son. I'm not doing that for her. No, I do that for me. As a matter of fact, thank you for reminding me. It's some shit that I enjoy doing. I enjoy you doing get to this. bond with your kids. Yes, you know. As opposed to, she should she should feel better now <laughs> because I've been showering for kids now. It's been three months. Motherfucker, she's been oh, showering for the kids for 14, 15 <laughs> <Yeah>. years. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, but Lord. this is the entitlement spirit that comes when yeah, you're defending yourself too. I'm just trying to paint that picture for you. Sometimes we're just stuck in, just like you think she's stuck in her head, you're probably stuck in your own head right now Especially too. if you come from a culture that, you know, that's a woman's job. That's a woman's job. Well, you shouldn't be doing that. will hurt you but, more in this yeah, time of age, I'll tell you that It right would now. hurt you. Yeah. So, you know, I want to revisit this part right here. We'll say going to a therapist, praying, doing more around the house spending more time with her kids being more pleasant all those things what that tells me when you state that out is that these are the things that she complained about mm. you, so you feel the need to tell me so i can give you Accolade. Accolade. <laughs> bravo well bravo because she's probably not going to tell you like she said she's you're making her sick to her stomach all right let's keep going here the nicey nicey stuff thank god you know that's nicey stuff you know uh, the Mr. Nice Guy always end up last and last hmm. and last. Uh, they all, you know, Mr. Nice Guy is a manipulative thing to do. Okay, um, this guy mentioned it too, right? Dale Carnegie. Mm -hmm. He talked about Mr. Nice Guy, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's you're manipulating. You're mm -hmm. not doing it because yeah. it's just the right you're thing to do. You're doing it because you want something. It makes every you time. feel you get a kick mm -hmm. out of that, but you want to use it to manipulate others. Mm -hmm. That that's why they should give back to you. Mm -hmm. No, that's not why they should give back to you. 
you do that because it's just the right thing to, to do. do yeah you know I so agree. so that's what she's sensing she could read beyond what you're doing and she knows that you're full of it basically you're full of shit okay and you know you you're making her sick you know but it's not because you're doing it she doesn't want to be mean mm -hmm. but you know she's in the space where she just gotta tell how she feels you know um i asked why and she said why didn't you do it before get it hmm. so she's not concerned about the fact that you're doing the right thing now she could see through you that you're this doing it you're being manipulative you're being manipulative right uh -huh. and not just that you're doing it but that, Thanks, babe. Not that you, not just that you're doing it, but because she could sense that you're doing it because you're having expectations. You're backing it up with like you should see me now, I'm better. <laughs> no, Look at me now. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, all right, I'm so still being silly. All right, she is actually very concerned. She doesn't want to make, we're making light of you, but we want you to know that you shouldn't be so serious too, Don't but that's probably so causing seriously. you trouble, yeah. okay? You should laugh about this issue. We all went through this and it's okay, but you need to do better because you're going to know better now, right? Yeah. So that's why she says she didn't, why didn't you do it before? I told her because I was a fool. You didn't need to say that. Hmm. You didn't need to say that. She already knows you're a fool. <laughs> <laughs> you just told her I'm a fool. <laughs> right. You don't need to validate. Yeah, I know. That's why I'm trying feeling. to get out of here. Okay. You know that's called illusion of action. You feel like when you say something, it's gonna make it better. Mm -hmm. Okay. When you do this, it's gonna make it better. That's called illusion of action. In fact, the number one thing you should do is nothing. Stop talking. The number one thing you should do. When a woman or a man or spouse is in that position where they checked out on you, it's nothing. Nothing. Okay? Absolutely. The only some things you should be doing is for yourself. You do the right thing that you do for yourself and you're for your kids. Right. Those are the only th times you should do anything. Everything else is nothing. You should do nothing. If you do anything, you are trying to manipulate her and you will not attract her. You'll push her away more and more. That's just the way psychology of it works that's the way the heart of attraction works okay yep. that's the way the brain works okay okay because she's referencing everything else before that right okay uh she filed for divorce and told me to expect being served hmm. all right so this especially now mm -hmm. that she's filed for divorce and you're expecting to be served say i understand say i understand you know if you're ever going to say anything to the effect of, I was a fool, don't say it like that. Say, I understand our relationship hasn't been the best. We definitely deserve better. Don't ever diminish yourself. Ever. Ever. Because, because you're going to kill attraction. Mm. Nobody wants to be with a, a person that feels a like woosie. a fool. Yeah. You a know? Punk. This is the mistake that people make. They say, maybe I should tell her I'm a fool. I'm such a fool. You're a fool in love? You see, that's the kind of stuff that people see in movies too. Mm. It doesn't work like that in mm. real life. Okay? You don't want to be a fool in love. You want to be a man, man in love. That's especially a, a man. I knew it. And that's why I'm getting out. <laughs> what attracts us is the confidence. <laughs> don't ever forget that. Like, this girl maintains her cool. She's the, she's the girl for my life. Mm -hmm. Right? Same vice versa, right? That's what attracts us. Not a fool, right? I was a fool. A fool what? You trying to be romantic? Mm -hmm. A fool in love? No, you don't be a fool, okay? The only thing you can say if there's any need to say anything, which is usually there's no need to say anything. If you say, I understand our relationship wasn't as healthy as it's supposed to be. Let me know if you change your mind. That's all you should say. That's what you will say if you are confident yep. or if a girl says no i have a boyfriend right now i understand mm -hmm. that's what you would say we can be friends here's my number <laughs> how cheese. many guys have picked up girls that way of course easily because the, the, because most men are not living up to the standard of a man hmm. they, guess what they're gonna call on the day they feel like, well, I need to kick this one to the curb. They're mm -hmm. gonna call that number, mm -hmm. or the person that's high, like that's that's high uh, so what do you call it? hanging out on the sidelines, mm -hmm. you know. So anyway, we're not here to teach you pickup games. Yeah, but, but it's the same thing in your marriage, okay? Right. Um, number one thing here: 
you have illusion of action. Stop doing things for her. Do it because you're supposed to do it do because it. you want to do it. She yes. can feel the energy. We can feel energy. Yeah. We can feel spiritual energy between us. When she, when her face changes, you when can, she wants knows. to tell me, I know. I can feel it. Mm -hmm. I know something is off. And five minutes later, she's going to tell me something. I was like, I, I knew it. Mm -hmm. Something was bothering her. Mm -hmm. And vice versa. We are spiritual beings. Mm. We can feel those energy. So she knows when you're doing stuff around the house and you're just trying to do stuff. And the moment you said, I've been better, boom, you confirmed it. She knew it. That cured it. She knew you were full of shit. <laughs> oh my God. That's so terrible. <laughs> no, she because knew it. Cause, cause you know what? This kind of reminds me of mm -hmm. when we were struggling through ours. You know, right. for example, I've always complained to my husband that he has never surprised me with breakfast in bed. Right. But when we I did go, that. He did that and I'm like, really nigga? In my head is a... No, you didn't even do really nigga. You actually, no, in my head. You, oh, in your head? In my head. Because you like, actually took picture, but I could tell that you were forcing that too. Because she tried to be nice. I, yeah, woman, I don't want to break his heart. A woman would not want to break your heart. She doesn't want to tell you off. She doesn't want to tell you she doesn't love you. When she gets to that point, a lot has happened. Yeah. Why in my brain, I'm like, oh, yeah. Right. Like right now. <laughs> right, right. Okay. Yeah. Let me just be nice. Don't, 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 don't do Doesn't these things. Work. Don't, no. don't do these things. Don't do, don't, do nothing for her or him when he or she are shut off. When Give they, her that breathing space to breathe. You're giving to yourself think. space too. And you're giving yourself to, you're, you're giving yourself time to think. You're giving her time to think. Yeah. She's reflecting. She mm -hmm. might, you know, you'll be surprised. Yeah, because people look into the past with rose colored lens. Mm. When you leave them that room, she will remember all the good times. If you stay in her face, she will remember your dirty face. That's all she's she, she's and gonna And how remember. hangry you make her be feel. That's right. all she's gonna remember. And not to say you probably there just yelling and acting out of anxiety and fear and just re overreacting to everything. Stay out of each other's face. Give yourself space. Some people say, Well, I wanted that space too long. In my opinion, it's not too long if it's meant to be. That's true. Okay, that's a real fear for people. Like, but if I leave her alone, she's gonna fall in the hands of it. Well, she don't belong there in the first place. You don't belong there. You you deserve better. If that's how yeah. she's gonna fall in the hands of somebody else, then so be it. Yep. You know? So because again, we're talking about we're talking about your self worth self -worth. right now and attraction right now. And you're not gonna force it, you know, you're not gonna force these things, you know. You Some things are it. just written. And, but I, but you give yourself best chance of letting God do his magic yeah. when you leave room, when you leave that space, when you leave that distance, then the magic happens. Without that distance, without that sweet spot distance, the magic is not going to happen. It's not going to happen. Yeah. Best so, do I keep doing it? <laughs> of no. Of course not. Stop. <laughs> he makes me feel better being this way instead of hungry all the time. Okay, now it seems like you're doing it for yourself. You're abusing yourself. That's what you're doing. <laughs> if it makes you feel better. You know, abuse can feel good. Mm, that's true. Yeah. They are and some people are addicted yeah. to abuse. Yeah, because you, your, your, your expectation is that of, it's of another human being. That's the problem. As opposed to your expectation for God, just trusting God 100%. Yep. You are, you are putting your expectation on another human being. You don't even know what's going on with her. You mm -hmm. don't know. You mm -hmm. really don't know. It mm -hmm. may have nothing to do with you. Mm -hmm. But you're here. Should I keep doing it? If you're doing it for yourself, sure. If you're going to do it with expectations attached to it, don't do it. Don't do it. Anything. Not just this. Mm -hmm. Anything you do with expectations attached to it, don't do it. Unless it's a business venture. Mm. Of course, you should expect to make profit in a business venture, right? But even at that, you don't want to be too attached to the outcome. You want to find yep. a way to engage in processes that you enjoy the most. That's right. Right? Because that sometimes the result is not going to be not always going to be pleasurable. You no, know? it's not. So, it's hard, but I'm committed, son. <laughs> Do you not hear me? <laughs> but I don't want to make things worse. Help. How can I stop divorce? You can't stop divorce. Don't focus on stopping divorce. Yeah, divorce is not that? a real thing. Yes, yeah. like don't be attached to the word divorce. You know, yeah. well, that's not what you're trying to do. That should not be your goal. Your goal is to build a healthy relationship, relationship. Yep. and a marriage. 
a marriage that's healthy that looks like heaven like looks like paradise you don't want to go inside that's the your old goal. stuff mm -hmm. the old if you it's like marriage. it's one of the things i learned from the books the secret and the movie back then that i watched is when you say i don't want divorce well the mind focuses on divorce mm -hmm. the mind doesn't understand don't don't word, exactly don't. so right and what you fear the most you attract yeah because you fear is you can focus on it and it's going to expand Experience. right so instead of saying that i want a healthy relationship change your statements from I don't want divorce to I want a healthy marriage and your mind will expand and yeah. a healthy marriage can be with or without her and I know that's hard for you to swallow but that's your reality right now because she shut off if she decides to come back then so be it if she doesn't know to come back you have options she doesn't want a person that doesn't have options either that's right nobody wants a person that doesn't have options that's right all right these are all attraction issues at the end of the day attraction okay it's not it's not an attractive thing to be seeking out how do i stop divorce why why do you want to stop mm -hmm. divorce it's not a real thing okay it's not a real thing it uh it, the only it can get real for you to have your freedom maybe you were already enslaved already in the first mm -hmm. place remember i mentioned abuse earlier yeah. sometimes you enjoy abuse mm -hmm. if a person is shut down on your marriage you don't want to be in relationship with that kind of person right that's not what you want. Your brain may think that's what you want because you experience yeah, rejection. Yeah, because of that. Yeah. You know. So addition, babe. Oh, by the way, I was reading some stuff online today, and people were—I mean, you know how they put quotes out there like, uh, "Why marriages with infidelity can survive? Mm -hmm. Trust is broken. Blah blah blah. Mm -hmm. You know. Yeah, yeah, we used to." I used to be a believer of that, like, if you don't have trust, you don't have a marriage. Right. But that's because I'm expecting so much out of this a human, human being, forgetting that he's human, thinking he's perfect, is mm -hmm. you know. But what I've learned is that I can just trust him. I have to trust God to mm -hmm. trust him. Right. I got to put that in God's hand too. So let me be the devil's advocate. Mm -hmm. What if somebody says, you just want to trust God, but he's human. Are you trying to tell me, tell me if he does something right now, it's not going to hurt your feelings? When you're in love with someone, feelings are bound to be hurt. Mm -hmm. But, like I said, we gone through one of the toughest years of our lives. Mm -hmm. We realized that we've hurt each other. Mm -hmm. And we've let go of that. Mm -hmm. And now we are aligning. Right. We're not giving space for what we gave space to before mm -hmm. to hurt our marriage again. Right. We are aware. Right. So that's that's one. And on top of that, both of us put our trust in God. In God. Right, right. So because, I can't uh, just trust right. you. I have to trust God. Right. That God has made that's a real guy. fear for people. That's no, why it I is that. real. Like, so I should just trust God. But I don't control that. I just have to, well, you got to let go of that. You have to let go because of Because you will never be free. You, here's you the thing. Here's free. the mistake that people make with that. They said, I can't trust him. So you're going to go be with somebody else. Do you know that you take that trust? Issues. To that and then other transfer it to the other person. Because you didn't let go. Yes. Exactly. So it's the same problem. It's recycling. the same problem. Yeah. So letting go of that person doesn't stop your trust mm -hmm. issue. You still have trust you issues. You still gonna have trust. So people brought their trust work. issues from their parents. Yeah. yeah, from their parents' relationship. So Just what are we saying? Basically, here? watching your parents like, oh my god, mm -hmm. my dad cheats. Oh right. my god, my mom takes too much bullshit. Oh my goodness. And then you're taking that and transferring that into your marriage. Everything your husband does, you're like, mm -hmm. uh, no, you mm -hmm. can't live life like that. You have to live life freely. Yeah. You have to believe. I mean, if you don't believe in God, hopefully you believe in something spiritual mm -hmm. that you connect to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you yeah. gotta be spiritual. You, you I mean, have to have something. I, if you, you don't believe in God, you shouldn't be in a marriage because it's an institution created by that's God, true. and there's a constitution that 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 basically guides it, and that's unconditional love, and that's unconditional starting love. from God. You know, and really. people don't like to hear unconditional love. They think it's kumbaya, oh, well. honey. If oh, well. you're not kumbaya, what would you rather be? Yeah, you'd rather just live in a chaotic life. Exactly. <laughs> so I don't think kumbaya is a bad thing. No, it's not. <laughs> I don't think cliches and kumbaya is a bad thing. Learn all your cliches and learn how to put them to use, okay? Yep. Good, good. Another good one. Getmymarriageback.com. Go get the book. Read it 10 to 15 times. Yes. Smash the like button. Click share and share with your friends. 
and comment your questions below in this comment box we are watching for your for your comments you can also dm us on instagram which is where we grab some of this and uh at lola and ola.com hopefully you've been enlightened and educated we'll see you on the next one and peace